Welcome to the homework for first grade, module one. This is lesson 19. Write your name first. Number one, use the picture to write a number bond. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then, after that, we write the matching number sentences. So, we're looking at the, this picture. We're using the picture, right? The picture of these things. We have two. We have a group of two lar two pigs and one, two, three, four, five piglets. But together, there are seven. So our total is seven. We'll put that here. And then our two, there's the five piglets and the two pigs. And now we'll write our matching number sentences. And we can do this, 5 plus 2. You can have the 2 plus 5 there. It doesn't matter which number sentence you have first or second. Uh, 5 plus 2 equals 7. And we, since we can switch the add-ins, it doesn't matter which add-in goes first, they're still going to add up to 7. 5 plus 2 or 2 plus 5, no matter which ones you count first, it's still going to count to 7. Two. Write the number sentences to match the number bonds. So this is going to be a lot like the one up above, except now we don't have a picture to count. We just have numbers. So and the number bonds are already done for us. So we have a total of eight, and we're adding. These are our add-ins, five and three. Those are our parts, five and three, and our whole is the eight. So we can have five plus 3 equals 8, and you just change the order of the add-ins, and do the 3 first, and then the 5, add those together, and it's still 8. And then part B, we still make an 8, but now we're making it with 6 and 2. So, but we look out, because this is an equal sign, it's not a plus sign, right? We're used to doing everything left to right. One number plus another number equals something else. But remember, you can, it's been a while since we've seen one of these backwards number sentences in, uh, in homework. But they're back again. So uh, now we have to put the total first, right? Because we're not adding anything to this. You don't add to the total. 8 equals 6 plus 2, right? Because these are the numbers we're adding. So we want to have the, the, the plus sign, the addition symbol, in between the two numbers that we're adding. our total, and now we're just going to switch our two add-ins. It's 2 plus 6. And I'm just going to clean up this plus sign there. We'll go on. We have another page. So now, we, now they're giving us the 8 and the 2 for add-ins, but we, they're not telling us what the total is. Maybe you already know it. It's 8, 9, 10. You can count it up. Maybe you know your partners to 10. And partners are just, you know, it takes two people to be partners, so 8 and 2 are numbers that are partners, and then together they make 10. So they're partners to 10. And this is all partner to 10. It's just two numbers you add together to make 10. So we have 8 plus 2 equals 10, or 2 plus 8. 10. D, now we have a total of 7. So what do we have to add to the 5 to make it a 7? We have a missing add end here, right? Well, let's see, 5, we have to count up to 7 from 5. It's 6, 7, so it takes two more numbers. So we can have 2 plus 5. 7, or we can write it as 5 plus 2 equals 7. Now look out here. We have the total first this time because the equal sign is over here. And we're making 10. You're just beginning to see 
tens in our homework, and we're going to see a lot of them uh, in the future. So those ways to make ten, those partners to ten, uh, very important to know all of them very well. So we've got three, and we have to count. We have to make ten with three. You can count it up. You can draw a picture. A lot of ways to figure it out. going to be seven. So we have our total first, right? Ten equals, and here's the plus sign. We want to make sure that we're, these are the numbers we're adding, the seven and the three. And our next one, and now we're just write the three first. Three on the left, and the seven on the right of the addition sign. And now we get to F. And we're looking, we're making nine, and we have a missing add in. We start with three. We could count it up. Three is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I stopped at nine, and it took me six fingers to get, get to nine, so it's six more numbers. It's six. So it's three and six. And now here's our addition sign. So these are the numbers we're adding. Our atoms are three and six, and they equal nine. And we can also write that six and three equals nine. 